It has been a roller coaster up at the trade deadline down after you stress. d -Row, find a way. How'd the Padres find a way? I love your outfit, by the way. Thank you, uh, Lauren. Uh, one thing I'm going to say, I don't think this team gets it done if Bob Melvin's not at the helm. Ooh. I think his stoic demeanor kind of carried them through. They dealt with a lot this year. The whole Tatis saga, the trade deadline, everything. He was able to kind of just be that calming force for this team that I don't think allowed them to kind of lose their wits. I don't know if another manager could have been able to handle that. We've been doing this. We've been going over to the skybox, doing the three tiles thing. San Diego, it's funny. I, I've kind of contradicted myself at times. I said, you know, you can't just throw a bunch of different guys in a room talented and going to figure it out. And then on the flip side, I'm like, man, they have enough talent to run the table. I think bo both could be true. I want to start with the rotation because I think anybody who's been watching the San Diego Padres, you Darvish has been phenomenal for this team. Joe Musgrove's a heck of a pitcher. Mike Clevenger can make game one start of a division series if they get past a wild card. But pause this. Real quick, Blake Snell has been unbelievable. Do we have the board of his starts? Take a look at this. First 10 starts, a 5-2-2 ERA. He talked about, I want to get comfortable. I want to get into my zone in San Diego. Well, he has found a home there. His last 14, 219, 78 innings. He's punching out 12.1 per nine. The thing is, he can outstuff you. He's just got to be around his zone with his heater and get guys in swing mode. Yesterday, Jose Abreu, I'm going to take you through two at-bats right here. This is just pure stuff. This one best hitters in the league off left-handed pitching. And you see, he's trying to work the ball the other way, and he can't get on his heater. He's got him 0-2. He's got him in swing mode, 96 elevated C. It. I'm going to take you back two weeks ago against Paul Goldschmidt. He punched out 13. This was when he was on one. This is when he walked off the mound and said, I just hit 99 miles an hour. He goes two sliders right there, 1-1. One, one, and then here we go, 97 down, 97 middle of the plate. When you can throw Paul Goldschmidt's and Jose Abreu's middle cut heaters and they don't square them up, you got special type stuff. And this overlay of his heater slider, he is going to be a dominant tough out in the postseason to go with you, Darvish. So they, they possess the rotation, which A.J. Preller has done a great job through trades of giving them depth, Maybe Maniac becomes a long man. I don't know how they're going to roll it out. The lineup, okay? Manny Machado has been the driving force. He has been so consistent the entire season. 15 homers in the first half, 17 homers in the second half, an 890 OPS in the first half, an 890 OPS in the second half. He has been a phenomenal, phenomenal player for this ball club and kind of their rhythm for their lineup with no panic. But can we give Hassan Kim some love? He's one of the best defenders in the sport. He's got occasional pop, and it can't be easy when the whole world was waiting for Fernando Tatis to come back, and he devastated them not once, but twice. And this guy, all he's done is given Bob Melvin unbelievable, better defense than Tatis would have given him. Seems like an unbelievable teammate and occasionally runs into a big homer. So I wanted to give him a little run. I know the Cronenworths of the world and the other guys in that lineup, Soto, obviously. But I wanted to give Machado for being that driving force, calming force, and then Kim for stepping up. And then if you look in their bullpen, when Hader came over, he couldn't find it. Something was wrong, right? But they got a couple guys in this bullpen with nasty stuff. Louis Garcia has been absolutely dominant for this team. Last 15 times out, he's got a, like a 188. And watch this nightmare. Mr. Tim Hill from the left side to generate this type of stuff, 92. He's got the Rich Hill finish. He has been absolutely dominant. <laughs> he's got an ERA of one over his last 30 appearances, okay? And he's found it. Last seven times out, he's mm. throwing 99 by everybody. So whatever mechanically he had to fix, whatever mentally he had to fix, he has done it. They are going to be tough to deal with, whoever's going to play San Diego the Mets. in the wild card series. Might be the Mets. It will, it will be the Mets. Hill's delivery looks painful. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just... Usually when you see that, it's smoke and mirrors, Lauren, and it's like 86. Yeah. So you got to just kind of get – him added away, but when you can light up 92 to 94, that's on you.